Super Sandbox. It's the game where we throw things at each other. It's been a while. There was a Grand Collision Unification update, which means that the Collision Physics used to use two systems, and now they've been melded together into a Harmony of Destruction. What that really means is we're gonna throw things at each other and see what it looks like and probably get a little bit ridiculous because that's that's how we do it. So let's start with two Earths. Uh, I remember the controls. That's a good start. Two Earths going to collide. Let's see how this goes. We've got Earth number one looking kind of sus. Earth number two. Ooh. And the moment of collision is now. So, we can definitely see that they are, in fact, colliding, smashing into each other. Earth trying to smash. And we got some good collision going on here. Look at that. Look at that. Lots of damage. They actually kind of did a grazing shot there. They're running away. Kind of orbiting each other. Will they merge? Who knows? Well, what, what is going on? <laughs> They're, they're like, stop! Oh, oh! What? I've never seen this kind of activity before. I... This is, this is very interesting. They're like... They're kissing. Earth. And Earth. They're in some sort of interesting relationship, but they're not willing to fully commit yet. They're just, they're waiting. Wow. They're, they're just kind of stuck together. Give it a little bit more time. Are they gonna merge? What is going on? Is the game broken? <laughs> this seems wrong. It seems like something has went very wrong. They're just stuck together. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, even going super fast. Yeah, okay. Maybe there's a few bugs to this grand, grand unification of the collision systems. This does not seem like what was supposed to happen. Let's try again and see if we get similar results or if that was just a one in a million making Universe Sandbox look bad because I'm just incapable of being being good. Alright, let's do, uh, make sure that this one is still. Mars will be still. Hopefully we get a better collision out of this. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, there we go, that's what I was looking for. That was very good. Good job, Mars, and good job, Earth. Thank you for demonstrating the destructive power at hand. I think we gotta go further. There's no physical way that we can stop here and say that we've learned everything there is to be learned. So the next logical conclusion is going to be to chuck something very fast at another thing moving... Not at all. Alright, so, how about we get Earth, and we will... Okay, so normally in this channel, we throw small things at big things. You know, you throw Mars at Earth, you throw a bowling ball at Earth, you throw Pluto at Earth, but rarely do we throw big things at small things. Will it make a difference? Probably not, because if you, like, think of it relativistically, big object moving towards small object is practically the same as small object moving towards big object. It's really just your frame of reference. But I don't care. We're going to fire Jupiter at the Earth. Um, and we're going to have our reference frame be the Earth. So we definitely feel like Jupiter is the one moving. Oh, okay. May have went a little bit too fast there. So at this point, if you were on Earth in Saudi Arabia... All of you Saudi Arabians watch my videos, so I know it's a relatable uh, thing. Look at that! Well, you just see Jupiter in the sky. You might be like, what is that? Your neighbor may be like, oh! Your neighbor, neighbor down in Morocco be like, oh! That is Jupiter! Ha! Huh, what's it doing up there? And then you notice it's like getting closer and larger. You, you ask the weatherman and he's like, oh, it's just gonna rain some Jupiters today. What's so weird about that? You're feeling a little weird. You think this is kind of odd, so you call your friend in the most third world country, Florida. And then they look up and they go, oh my god. It's Mars. 
See, the joke was that Floridians are dumb. Don't worry, guys. I, I live in Texas, so I can't I can't really sandwich, can I? Okay, Jupiter getting really large now. Look at it go. It's getting very close. At this point, the gravitational f Oh god! Oh, jeez. There was no time to even react. That's a lot of damage. We had some flex tape. We could certainly certainly fix this. My controls are reversed, and I don't know why. Oh, there we go. That's why. I was flipped upside down. Jupiter looks a little bit angry after that. It's glowing with the rage. Fortunately, I didn't really get a good, a good view of that. So let's do it again, but this time we're going to fire Jupiter at the speed of light because I had a challenge trying to time it there. I'm sure firing Jupiter significantly faster will make it easier to time. All right, so we got meter, uh, that's surface gravity, that's not what we want. We want to go to motion, and then we're going to go to speed. We're going to set it to one light speed, and then we're going to turn the time down very low, and maybe not that low. All right. So we are moving at slightly over real time, one and a half times real time. So if you can think about how large Jupiter is and how large Earth is and the amount of distance that's being covered, this is how fast. Okay, this actually, here we go, about one second per second, this is how fast it would be moving. Slightly faster than Usain Bolt. Slightly. Lightly. Name's the same bolt, right? I, I didn't just make that up, right? Yeah, okay. It, it's just such a cool last name. I had to make sure I wasn't like making that up. All right, here it comes. Thankfully, it's like on the light side of Earth and the dark side of Jupiter, so everyone's nice and wide awake when they get vaporized, but they won't see Jupiter coming because it's dark. Although, Jupiter should really be casting a shadow on Earth. I didn't even think about that. It's probably because we're using, like, not real lighting calculations. Because there's no star. Don't think about it. Just don't think about it. Just don't think about it. Jupiter's made of gas, so the light just passes right through it. That definitely makes sense. Okay, um, if we're going to do that kind of lighting, I want to actually see what's going on. So let's just go to view and we're going to make the lighting, uh, studio, no, flashlight, ah, there we go, now we can see what's going on. All right, Jupiter is going towards the Earth at the literal speed of light. Um, what do you expect to happen? You have five seconds to comment below or I'm releasing where you live. Yep. I have a mouse in your house right now preparing to type on a keyboard. And they're going to say something very offensive on Twitter and post your address if you do not comment. So you should be careful. Look, Ratatouille, he was able to, to, to cook with, with, the, with the hair. Th this rat is capable of typing on a keyboard. It's really not that weird. It's 2023. Get your expectations higher. All right, here we go. Ooh, wow. Immediately, we're seeing some, like, white hot. Uh, oh, what just... Jupiter! Jupiter, what did you just... What just happened? I literally cannot see. I am so confused. Everything just got very weird very quickly. Everything is gone. Did you guys see that? Did you, did you catch that? Pull that up. I, I cannot... I... The entire universe has just exploded. I legitimately cannot see a damn thing. I'm zooming out. I'm zooming out. Oh, there's like... There's fragments. Am I just like stuck inside of the collision? Did I scroll in too far and now it's like crashed? I'm trying so Oh! 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 Earth! Earth survived! It still has water! What? This makes no sense. What? Okay, guys. Sure. Earth is at 
168,000 degrees Celsius, but have you considered that it's spewing out Jupiter? So really, the real winner is Earth. And look, Russia just froze, so Ukraine won the... Oh, wait, Ukraine froze. Well, nobody won, but that means that nobody lost. Okay, what is, what is going on with these? These are one going at the speed of light still. 3,000 degrees. Um, these fragments, I'm very concerned. Also, time is... Oh! What? Just... It just... <laughs> it, what? That was really neat. I was... It's going out in like a donut. What? Earth? You okay there, lad? That was insane. Did you did you catch that? Did you see that? Did I record that? That was that was really crazy. Earth literally just destroyed Jupiter and is just shrugging it off. Literally no damage. Well, time to move to Hawaii because the entire Earth is so warm. Might might as well, you know. Oh, and look, it's trapped a fragment in its uh, orbit from this. This is the new moon. You may not like it, but this is what peak moon performance looks like. Kinda looks like a potato, which is kind of on point. A giant potato, we could cure, cure starvation. Very nice. All right, guys, we made the moon into a potato. We turned the earth into a giant piece of salami and Jupiter is gone. What else could we ask for in a day's work? So, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Join Valor at Valor.gg. There's links in the description. It's a, it's a platform I'm building because Reddit and Discord have exploded. And I will see you all next time. Peace out. Or war. It depends what you enjoy more.